Welcome back. Now when you use a keyword in the search area, what you're going to see is that there are five tabs that you can press in order to explore your keyword. You're going to see the top video for your search term. And typically, you are going to see that the term is going to be in the hashtag, or in some cases, it's going to be in the title of the video that has been shot or uploaded. You will also see the top profiles for the term that you are using. And what you can do is you can choose to follow the account for your top search term. You can also sort for users for your search term. And in this case, you are going to see all of the profiles that TikTok thinks is relevant for your search term. And what you can do, again, is you can access the profile. You can choose to follow the individual that is the owner of the profile. You can look at specific videos for your search term. And in this case, we're going to look at specific videos. And once again, you're going to find that these videos may seem to overlap the top terms as TikTok is discovering these videos by its algorithm. And as the case with the top tab, you're going to see that the term is going to appear in some cases in a hashtag. In other cases, it's going to appear in the title of the video. You can also listen to specific sounds to add to your video. And again, you're going to see these sounds sorted according to your keyword. And once more, you can sort for specific hashtags that are relevant to your search term. By tapping on one of the hashtags, you can add that hashtag to your favorites. The camera icon at the bottom just means that you are ready to shoot a specific video. So you can explore specific niche-based terms inside of TikTok, and you can sort for the top results, users, videos, sounds, and hashtags. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.